What's up everybody? Back here finally with another video. It's been such a long time since I've done anything with this channel, but let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be for the Samsung um, S8 owners. That's going to be for the S8 or the S8 Plus. Now, as we know with this phone, it comes with Bixby. Uh, Bixby is an actual button on the side of our phone. If we're looking at the screen, it's going to be the bottom left hand button uh, on the left hand side of your phone. Now, if you are into Bixby, that's fine. You know, you can pull it up and utilize it. But a lot of us out there want to go ahead and use that button or we hate the fact that we bump into that button and Bixby pops up. But why not go ahead and put Google on instead of for that button? I mean, for all of us that are Android users, it would seem that Google Assistant or Google Now will be a little bit uh, more useful for our day to day lives. So this is actually going to show you how that's going to be done. So the first thing is, is this app is called BX Action, or Actions, as you can see at the top right there. So you can go ahead and find that in the Play Store. I will have a link in the description for you. So let's go ahead and start up this app. So what I'm going to do, as you can see right here, is I'm going to only do the Big Speed button personally. So I'm going to turn that on. It's going to pull me into an accessibilities. I need to come down in here. And as you can see, I need to go ahead and enable that as well. Okay. So that is giving its proper permissions. I'm going to back up. So now the app is running. Now I get to select what I want this to do. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change it. I'm changing it to the Google Assistant. Extra. Supports direct speech input and what's on my screen actions. So we will do that. Bixby is disabled. Let's make sure that. Buttons, home, back, camera, launch application, Google Now, Google Assistant. So let's do Google Assistant. And this should be good to go now. Now it's back out here. Standard Google Assistant. Choosing its button. Now we have the actions. Let's double check it. Choose Bigsby. I'm just going to go through this all once. Google Assistant's correct. Correct. Okay. Now the buttons that need to be renapping. We already did that. And helps and tricks. Now let's see if it works. So I'm going to come in here. Normally I will push this button on the left and Bigsby will show up. But let's see what happens if I click it now. Oh, Bigsby did show up for a split second. But now we have Google Home. So how can we get Bigsby to... This internet stuff? connection isn't strong enough at the moment. Thank you. So how can we get rid of that completely? So let's actually go into our settings. And we're going to need to go down to apps. And the reason this actually showed up where Bigsby popped up just a tad is because Bigsby was already running in the background. So I need to come in here. And I need to force stop it. Disable it if possible. And let's go into the storage and let's clear anything in here. So it looks like nothing is stopped or closed. So let's go into the Bigsby voice then. So that one is running. So I can force stop that. Uh, storage. Let me clear all this actually. I'm probably going to have to force stop it one more time. Force stop. Oops. There we go. Now let's go back. Do I see anything else with Bigsby? Let's click in here one more time just to make sure it's not shown. Uh, no notifications. Essentially what I'm going through here is I'm looking for anything. You might have a lot more Bigsby things listed on there. You're going to want to make sure all of them are forced stopped. So I came in here and made sure permissions were removed. Everything has been removed. Now I'm going to come in here. Let's go ahead and swipe that out. Swipe that out. We're going to come into the home page. Let me push it one more time and let's see. Hopefully the Bigsby doesn't even pop up. Oh, it's a little faster. Little faster there. So, this internet connection is unstable right now. We know, we know. So anyways, that's going to at least get you your Google Assistant going. Uh, I'm going to keep playing with this a little bit more because I know there's probably a way I can go ahead and get Bigsby removed completely. And again, this is going to be with all non-rooted devices. Of course, we can go in there with a rooted device. Uh, let's see. Let's see just anything that's enabled. See, Bigsby's still showing itself here. I cannot force stop it. Can't do anything else with that here. Actually, I could go Bigsby Vision. Could hit this three dots. I could install anything. Okay. So let's just actually uninstall everything. Force stop that. Clear storage. Delete. Mobile data. Can we clear anything there? No, we cannot. 
battery notifications. I cannot turn that part off, unfortunately. I don't even know why it shows that. Do not show, there we go. Maybe that'll remove it completely. Yep, that's perfect. All right, so four stop one more time. Go to the home page. Let's try this again. It's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. This internet connection isn't reliable yeah, at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that is just a quick video that I wanted to show you guys how to go ahead and get that done. There will be a link in the description to that app. Uh, I'm going to play around with this a bit more. Hopefully, I can get it to where that big speed doesn't even have that split second where it pops up because it is annoying. Uh, the internet connection issue is just a personal issue. This does not actually have to do with the app itself. Uh, this is just because I have myself on a very, very faulty uh, Wi-Fi connection actually where I'm at and tons of stuff downloading too. But anyways, if you do have any questions or comments, hit that down below. And as always, don't forget that hit that subscribe button and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.